Hi, nobodies. <laughs> Got a crazy face. Um, excuse my chin. Mother Nature doesn't like me very much. That is probably one of the worst things about being a female is, like, after a whole life of, like, doing stuff, then Mother Nature decides to throw shit like perimenopause on you. And it's, it sucks. <laughs> it's like, I'm supposed to have a whole month. <laughs> yeah. So, but I'm not bitching, really, um, is what it is. You know, we shall endure. I shouldn't say that. That sounds like I'm insensitive to the people who actually said that. But I figure women have always endured a lot of stuff. So, we shall overcome. We shall endure. Blah, blah, blah. That's why we're stronger. Because we endure so much bullshit. Anyway, today was a good day. As always. Um, I mean, I, I, I say as always... But I know there's going to be dark days. I know this. But I choose not to think about that. I just have to assume. That I just have to say, well, hey, today's a good day. Like, the temperature is legit fall. <laughs> okay? Because, like, we've been, I think right now it's 75 degrees. And that is really bugging me. Um, that I have broken out a little bit. Um... So I keep my face really clean. Um, anyway, the weather was nice in Arkansas today. Now, I keep certain places on my phone so I can see where some of my friends are at. And, you know, some of you might think 70 degrees is not fall weather. It is in Arkansas. That is spring and fall in Arkansas. It's like 70 degrees. Um, my friend in Beaumont was having a 90 something degree day, which normally like during the summer, Beaumont has, Beaumont, Texas has been like right with the weather in Alexander, Arkansas. And then I got a friend in Ohio. He's been at like fifties. And then I my other Beaumont friend, who has recently transferred to Colorado, this morning it was 45 degrees in Inglewood. And I think last I checked, which was 4.30 there, they were at 73 degrees. So, um, but my friend is from Utah, I do believe. Or at least people he knows are from Utah. <laughs> so, apparently he likes the cold weather. Me, I was looking and saying, 45 degrees? Are you shitting me? That's winter. That is winter in Arkansas, okay? 45 degrees. Um, Because we don't get too many below freezing days here. Uh, should be interesting to see what, what goes on. But, you know, it's funny how, the, how people up north will bitch about how fucking hot it is and it's like you ain't seen you know you're bitching about 89 degrees hello <laughs> you know in arkansas it's 90 to 90 something degrees with humidity making it feel like a hundred and something and then of course the arizona people are saying oh, you're bitching about a hundred degrees it's like 112 120 here you know so now, now during the winter, Arizona's pretty damn nice. <laughs> and see, I know this because when my parents died, I, I wanted to uh, relocate. And I was thinking, I had um, Yuma, Arizona picked out. I had Brookings, which is in Oregon, and Forks in Washington. Yeah. Um, I found out that it's actually a really nice town. It's not just because it's the Twilight City. Um, no, I actually, like, looked it up and I said, okay. But the, not a lot of jobs there. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's not a lot of work in Forks. But as far as the area, it's pretty cool. And you're really close to, like, Vancouver. So you can go into Canada, which is awesome. 
and at the time I was like, yeah, that, that works, you know, but I kept track of the weather because I was like, well, I need to know how cold, I don't like cold, I don't like extreme heat either, but I really don't like cold, <laughs> you know, I don't, I, I've spent enough, um, you know, it's, it's always kind of funny because when I smoked cigarettes and had to go outside during the winter, it, the last winter I smoked was the year that we had like the polar vortex thing. So it was like, it was super cold here, which I know is nothing compared to what they get in Wisconsin and Michigan and all that, but it's cold for an Arkansas girl. And, um, I'd go out there and take like two, three puffs, period, and then just, I'm done. Even with the, even with the door blocking me, because I had to have the screen door open so it would block the wind. Well, then the wind would come from the other direction, and I'm like, okay, so I'll get behind it. And then it was coming from both directions, and it sucked. So, um, I like weather. <laughs> I want to live in Hawaii, actually. Because I think I could live in Hawaii my whole life. And I would probably never run out of places to explore. And that's what I like. You know, I want to go to those, those, those spaces where people don't live. You know, unless, you know, I mean, yeah, you've got a scattering of people that live there. But, you know, like, like by and large, it's not for tourists. And it's just kind of... I, I like the idea of uh, oh, a barely inhabited island to to hike around and and just like check shit out, you know, find things. Of course, I imagine I'd probably find a pot farm <laughs> that I'm not supposed to find or an opium farm. <laughs> I'd get myself into trouble probably because I I would go off the beaten path. Unless I was told not to. If I was told, hey, don't, that's a bad idea, but if you stay on the path, you'll be fine. Then, yeah, I'm going to stay on the path if people tell me, hey, seriously, you walk off the path and you end up in somebody's farm, you're dead. Then I would stay on the path. And I am babbling. But it's that kind of day. It's a babbling day. We might get some rain. or at least I keep thinking we're going to get rain. I don't know why it's cold. Because I like weather, but I don't know much about it. I just know when my bones start hurting, something's coming. And I haven't had anything hurt. But David's had stuff hurt, so something's coming. It's just not something that's adjusted the barometric pressure in such a way to where I'm hurting. That's always fun. It is always fun when, when you hurt so bad that you want to chop off your arm from arthritis and then they're like well take some leave fuck some damn leave I mean it's don't get me wrong a leave slash naproxen is great for arthritis pain but when I got two bones both bones on this arm were broken when I was 11 yeah I was 11 and I had to get them operated on now, one of the bones, when it acts up, it just hurts to touch my arm. You know, if somebody touches it, it's like, ow! The other one, though, holy shit. I seriously want to chop my arm off or break it so they'll hook me up to some morphine or something. Because, I mean, it is bad. Because not only does it hurt to touch it. It just sits there and like you can feel it throbbing to the beat of your heart. Like you could just, it's like a migraine except, well, worse than a migraine. Because I mean, it is, you know, you can put cold on it, hot on it, and nothing's touching this sucker when it's hurting. It's bad. And, oh no. You know, but the, the top one, I can deal with that. I mean, it's hard to like write you know, hold a pen and, and do certain things because they cause that muscle to bunch up that's over that bone. So yeah, that sucks. But it's, 
it's an intermittent pain and it's not on a scale of one to ten it's probably like a six but the other bone is a fucking ten on a scale of one to ten and, and I'm a tough girl okay I can handle a lot of different kinds of pain but that shit breaks me I put it up there with with um, being worse than the worst contractions I ever had and I've got three kids so the worst contractions that pressure that's on your tailbone is not near as uncomfortable as this arm when that bone acts up now this other one over here where I broke it right about there it acts up but it's maybe a six or seven if that so and at least once a year the bad bone lets me know hey you broke me now it's time for me to break you it tells me that you know hey remember me I'm back bitches yeah yeah it's a pain in the ass no um so you know David says oh if I lived in the cold I'd just be miserable I don't know I don't know exactly I haven't done a whole lot of research on the cold and how it affects arthritis I think it's more of a pressure thing but I don't know I just know that when it's about to storm really bad this arm hurts I feel it not because see I got two different kinds of pain on this arm I've got the spots where the rod is installed and then there's the break itself and they act up at different times neither one of them has to do with the cold because they'll bother me in the summer it has to do with the pressure fronts you know the that kind of thing now this one has been fun because my my shoulder has popped out of socket twice because <laughs> I lifted something heavy and I'm like can y'all not fix that because I went to the doc about it thinking that maybe it never healed up maybe the bone just is able to flop through and I said no it's all healed you probably just popped it out of socket a bit because I don't think I can pop it completely out of socket because of the rod but I can pop it a little bit out of socket and let me tell you that's enough it's happened twice I don't want it to happen again twice is enough um, um, and that's and and part of the way I mean I don't know how anybody goes through the whole way Ooh, I don't like I don't like big pain <laughs> yeah I felt embarrassed about when I broke this one because I was working in a store and when I fell down all I could say all I could scream was Fuck. <laughs> I know I had to have I had to have yelled it like five or six times at least and they tried to tell me I didn't you know they tried to say oh no 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 you didn't cuss I know I fucking cussed I know I did <laughs> and I couldn't help it because see when you get hurt like that when you break something you don't have control over your mouth no <laughs> if you've never broken anything consider yourself lucky I have broken a lot of things uh, and I've had two, both times I broke I've broken both bones and had to get operations on those I have broken my pinky toe that sucked <laughs> it really did I thought that sucker would never turn from black <laughs> I mean, I've, I've injured myself so many kinds of ways. It's unreal. But I'm a rough and tough. And I've actually got a scar, like, between between my boobs from... Because I, I was a bit of a daredevil when I was little. And I thought that I could slide down a tree like a fireman slide down a pole. I couldn't. But I gave it my best and I've still got the scar <laughs> anyway that's enough information for today I've had a good day 
I hope you've had a good day. And if you haven't, tomorrow's another day. Fresh start. Wake up and tell yourself, it's going to be better than yesterday. Um, a good song to listen to, now that I'm thinking about it, is, it's called uh, New Alphabet by the eels you know like the swimming snake fish things the eels really good um it's a really good song about you know um so glad today's not like today's not yesterday you know so always look at the next day is always an opportunity to have a better day than the day you had before and if all you can manage is as good as that's a win, you know, and if, if you happen to have a worse day, it's got to rain sometimes, just as it can't rain all the time, you're not going to have sunshine all the time either, so you have to take it as it comes, live it day by day, don't think a bad day is a bad life, you know, anyway, I hope that you have a good evening and good night.